just how is how are things going on the back end? A lot of new faces back there. Jaden, you're kind of um, a steady force back there. So uh, just talk about every how everything's mixing up because a lot of you guys are playing different positions and stuff. Um, I say it's going good. Um, we got great depth. Um, we got we just got a couple people back from um injury, so um we just moving the people around, let them get comfortable because we all gonna have to play a different position at one point, and um I feel like everybody just mingling well and coming together and doing a good job at that. Yeah, I just feel like everybody coming in doing good at their job. Uh, you no know, Cuddy, Jaheem, and all them coming back, you see the energy of practice. Uh, you know, elevated a little bit more. Uh, I feel like. You know, all the safeties we're doing good, you know, rotating around real well. So, you know, we've been doing real good. Yeah, everything been been smooth, man. Uh, I agree with JJ said. Um, been able to move around the field, putting DBs at different positions. Um, um yeah, just a great fall camp so far. Uh, TJ, uh, Coach Woodson said that you, out of everybody, like you might be the most improved player from last year to this year. Mm -hmm. Um what what has gone into that growth and and also you're working more nickel last year but you're more safety now yeah i really just feel like uh, i've grown like as a player mentally like not looking at it because last year i wanted to go and you know take somebody to position and go start with woo. now i'm just an embracing like you know being in with my guys like you know just you know being on the field with them you know so you know taking more as a blessing uh you know just growing and then even with my brother being out there with me you know just pushing me a little bit harder Hey, Jane, glasses are new, man. What What's going on there? It's just for the style. <laughs> <laughs> coach called you an extension of the coaching staff. I'm, that probably means a lot to you. What 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 do you take, think about that role? Um, You know, a lot of pressure, but with the guys that we have in our room, I, I say they make it easier. Um, You know, I can go up and be, I don't want to say disrespectful, but I can talk to them in a different way than the coach could. And but they uh, also give them the same leeway to talk to me the same way, and um, they just listen. They know it's for the better, and also I know it's for the better, and I know this group kind of go off if I go how I go. So I know I got to be at my best at all times. Nico, we saw you at the nickel slash hog earlier on. Saw your safety today. What maybe is your ideal position, and how do you like this defense? Um, nickel for sure. Um, yeah, that's where I'm most comfortable at for sure in the box and being able to move around. Um, yeah, I'm in love and I'm I'm in love out with how um Coach T was, you know, orchestrating the defense and stuff like that. So um yeah, being there, being able to fit in wherever, you know, systematically works um as well. So yeah. Jaden, was there a moment for you? I mean, maybe it was that first game against Western last year or this spring where, you know, some you kind of grew in confidence and saw yourself maybe walking into this role of a leadership role and kind of a, a guy the other safeties can rely on? Um, I say just after the spring, uh, it was just more of like, I really want to win, uh, put all the, it's about me stuff away and focus more on the team. Cause uh, I know like the team is what's going to help me get to where I want to go and help everybody else get to where they want to go. TJ, give us a. What's it like playing with your brother and a, a scouting report on Tevis? Uh, what's he doing well right now? Yeah, he real. He been doing real good. Uh, coach is speaking highly about him. Uh, you know, for me, he doing exactly what I expected from him. Uh, coming in as a freshman, you know, just doing his thing. You know, uh, you know, being a little. I'm trying to mentor him. You know, mm -hmm. so him to do good. So he been doing real good. You know. Jaden, I'm curious what it's like playing, you know, with Hudson again. You know, he's been here for a while, just like you have. Just what, what how's it been like with playing with him? Um, you know, it's crazy because we kind of watch each other grow up. Um, it's just being on the field with him is different. Um, he know everything that's going on. If I don't know something, I know I can lean on Hood. And um, he's a big part of what, uh, why this defense is rolling. Also, um, great player off the field. Also. And would you agree with Coach Woodson's assessment that TJ is maybe one of the more improved guys in your in your room, and just what has improved about him? Um, yes, I definitely agree with that. Um, just his speed, his mental, um, and just his detail to um the play calls and the tools that come with it, and then uh, he just want it like he really want it. Danico, you played corner for Tennessee last year. Was that primarily as a slot, or did you did you go outside as well? Um, yeah, I was. Switched the corner last season um, at Tennessee. Um, it was just because, you know, we had a lot of bang guys back there. Um, so it was just something, you know, just to pick up off of. 
because I'm very versatile in anything that I do, and I know I can play any position. So um, that's basically what it was. Is it hard at all being like, you know, bouncing back between positions? I know a lot of guys on the defense are doing it, but are there any challenges to, you know, every practice you could be working out with a different group and stuff like that? Um, I mean, as long as you're taking it um, play by play, it's, you should be fine because you, you know, <clears throat> as I said, you know, nickel is the main position. So if you learn nickel, you can learn the whole defense entirely. So um, you you basically know everybody else's job. You can just fall off of that. Uh, Jaden, I think y'all improved 99 spots in pass defense uh, uh, yards allowed last year. What went into making that big of a jump in pass defense in one season? Um, I'll say just everybody buying in, you know, with the new coaching staff, everybody buying in to what they uh, had going on. Um, and then I say just everybody wants it. Like, we want to be the best no matter what we do. And that just come with within you personally. And then we just bring it together as a team, as a group. And um, we just make it work. We just got to keep building off of that. And, and uh, Metcalf, what uh, what have you seen improvements from last year to this year? Where can y'all be better? Uh, I feel like from last year to this year, we a lot better with our uh, attention to detail, uh, just buying into the playbook a lot more. Um, like all the tools that Coach Wilson and Coach Wilson give to us, we go out there and you know, we're trying to implement them on the field a lot more. And I feel like that's, uh, you know, that helped us a lot from last year to this year. You guys have all played a nickel. I mean, you played in a different scheme, but you as a freshman played. Um, you were there last year. You're there now. It's sort of like a difficult spot because you got to be physical, take on blockers, tackle running backs, but cover slot receivers. Just what are the challenges of being – an having to be so diverse and maybe that some of the other guys are also facing like Larry and, and Anthony playing that role too. Um, I just say you have to be able to, you know, snap to the next play. The, the last play has nothing to do with the next play. So just um, keep moving forward and, you know, um, everything's not going to be perfect. So um, yeah, just moving forward to the next play every time. We're all pretty good. Just what have been the challenges going up against a coach Petrino led offense? What have you guys seen in practice? Um, you know, it used to be a lot more runs at practice, but now it's a lot more pass. Um, he does a good job of getting his playmakers open and um, not just having them, you know, running basic routes. They're going to run some good routes. Uh, you got to have great eye discipline, <laughs> I would say yeah. for sure. Um, but they're doing a good job of what they're doing. And then just kind of hopping off of that, just going up against Taylor Daly, what have you seen from him at the quarterback position? Um, from the spring to the fall, uh, I've seen a big uh, jump in, like, him uh, recognizing what coverage we're in. Um, even on the uh, post snap, he does a good job seeing rotations and knowing where he's going to go with the ball. So, yeah. What's it been like with this uh, this coaching staff? I mean, it's year two for, for you guys, year one for you. But, um, you know, just the, the group as a whole, Coach Williams, Wilson, Woodson. Um, I say it's high high energy. Um, you gotta have good energy. Um, we we ain't gotta talk too much. We just gonna carry a big stick. Um, you can't talk about it. You just gotta go out there and do it. Um, and that's how we that's how we roll. When it's time to have fun, you have fun. When it's time to go, it's time to go. Yeah. Danico, your thoughts on that? Just being a first year guy with Arkansas and working with those coaches. Um, it's been great, man, for sure. Um, just the energy, like JJ said. Um, it's. A whole nother level, honestly, just because it's all black, you know, um, defensive staff. So you can com connect more um, on a on an off the field level as well. So um, yeah, it's just been been great building the chemistry with um, you know my players, my teammates, and my coaches. That's one. Jaden, you're a little bit of a rarity now in college football, being a senior, staying at one place. I'm just curious. Why why have you stuck around? Has there ever been any thoughts of, you know, testing out the portal or anything like that? Um, the reason I stuck around is because uh early on when I was getting recruited, um, I had committed to South Carolina and then I decommitted and I prayed and I asked God to lead me to the right spot and this is where I ended up. So every time something goes wrong, I feel like this ain't where I need to be. I always just look back and look what what brought me here. And um I say staying here, it taught me a lot. Um, you know, just Times get hard, but it's always going to get better. And um, that's one thing that I learned here. And, hey, I love it. Wouldn't trade this place for nothing.